are happy to welcome back a school counselor from Western Schools, Josh, Josh Smith. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Hi, Bart. Great to be with you again today. Yeah, welcome Thanks back. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Yeah, getting close to a, a spring break, and I remember uh, you were a big proponent of the staycation. Are your kids, have they beat you up yet? Are they going to yeah, get you to take them well, out of town? you know, we had a budget committee meeting in the Smith House, <laughs> and it wasn't in the it wasn't in the works. But this year we are going on vacation. So awesome. Looking forward to that. Good. Well, um, I know we've had some uh, really warm weather. Uh, that's probably given people uh, a little spring fever, anxious to mm -hmm. get out, get, get on vacation, get out of school, take a break. Yeah. Our break's always nice to get out of the routine a little bit get out of the house, and then get back to work. Your job, um, keeping everybody uh, with a steady head, uh, positive attitude, uh, has, it, has it been easier since we've, we've got the pandemic more in our rear view mirror? Yeah, we were just talking about that actually in the green room with uh, Henry Ford who was here. And um, just being four years out now from the pandemic, it's really, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're in a great place, but we're definitely better than we were initially coming out of the pandemic. I think people are, are more willing to look for help and are aware that they need it. And it's, uh, it seems like we're just kind of outside of the, out of the COVID mm -hmm. era. We're, we're, we're reaching the fringes <laughs> of being outside of it. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, when you see all, the, um, all that transpired with the Oxford uh, school shooting, how mm -hmm. important what, what uh, teachers and administrators and fellow students see and hear, you have to keep, uh, really, you have to pay attention to the people around you. Yeah, and people are doing a great job of, of being okay with asking for help mm -hmm. and um, encouraging people to reach out for help when they need it. And it, it, in some ways, that's been a, a benefit of the pandemic too. So you're trained, this is your job and your, mm -hmm. all your education and experience. What about teachers? What kind of things are teachers being uh, mm -hmm. equipped with to, to mm -hmm. help students with their mental health? Well, Western Schools does a great job of, of preparing um, students for getting help, but also working with teachers and, and principals and us as counselors. And we have a, a trails program that I think almost every school in the county is using to promote um, mental health awareness and different um, tools and strategies that people can use. So um, that's one thing we're doing. And then on Monday of, of next week, um, the district is sponsoring a training and um, there's, they're bringing in local people and people within our own district to give presentations and kind of train each other and encourage each other in these, in these stressful times. No school Monday? No school for students. <laughs> no school for students. Uh, we'll, be, we'll still be there. Yeah. So. What uh, kinds of things can you use uh, technology-wise mm -hmm. in uh, the work that you do or in training uh, your fellow teachers? Well, it's really interesting. Um, I don't know how much you guys use AI here at JTV, but it, and we don't use it a whole lot at the school, but it's up and coming, that mm -hmm. artificial intelligence. We're hearing a lot about it, um, staying current with what students use it for, and... Um, you know, it's, it's fascinating. I, I went to a training a few weeks ago in Grand Rapids, just the things that AI is doing. Um, some of it scary and some of it really helpful. Yeah, so is your job at risk? I don't think so. They are talking about these chat bots that they can put on um, websites for counseling where you type in, I'm depressed, and it will say, I'm sorry to hear that. Here are a few suggestions. Mm -hmm. Give it a try and let us know, and then you can respond. And so it is kind of an interesting idea where you can go get mental help just through a online chat bot type hmm. thing artificial intelligence yeah so you've been on those chat bots where you're trying to get some response from some place <laughs> you bought something from yes. yes good luck with that right? yes yeah yeah those can be uh those mm -hmm. can create maybe more stress than than they're yeah. to solve for sure yeah. uh, how is with uh the pandemic, obviously, a huge part of uh, contributing to, I think, people having uh, some poor mental health. Mm -hmm. Now that that's behind us, what are the what are the issues now? Kids, kids, and mm -hmm. others in school are uh, handling. Yeah, so students are, are handling a whole multitude of issues. Mm -hmm. Still, there's still regular stresses. There's stresses at home sometimes, uh, stresses with school itself, and the combination of things. What happens is a lot of times is and you and I probably have this happen too, 
where it's, if it's not just one thing that's going on, we can usually handle it, we can mm -hmm. manage it. It all comes at once. But when it comes all at once, when there's two, three, four things that are happening, that's when we get this feeling of being overwhelmed, anxious, depressed, and things like that. And what we wanna do is try to help manage those things and kinda of look at the whole puzzle of a person and look at the different pieces rather than just one single issue. When, we're, when we learn to manage those things, it suddenly becomes less stressful. The other thing that we had during the pandemic, people were doing their work. They were do, they, they lived their whole lives in one room or sat mm -hmm. at the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. They ate, they, they read, they did their work, they did their school work. Is there, by not having everything all in one room or all at the same place, does that, does that help if you've got like one place for work, one place for school, one place for... Yeah, I think we're all probably made for relationships and, and getting out and seeing people and um, when you're confined in one single area, sometimes that will get kind of stressful and um, it's nice to take a step out, like you said, when the, when the weather gets warm, get some fresh air, mm -hmm. get out in the sun, um, and also being back in a routine after being in COVID where it's just like you're, you're stuck in the one room in the house mm -hmm. and now you're, you're able to get out and see people. And Do you have a, uh, a cooling off technique or a coping mechanism, say you're on uh, the road and someone cut you off? Yeah, well, they, they, uh, I'm not an expert at that. I definitely need some work <laughs> in that area. But one thing you can do, of course, is take some deep breaths and even, um, they call it finger breathing, but you can trace your fingers. All right, you don't have to pull over to do it. You can just, as you're driving, you can, when you breathe, you put your finger right here and you take a deep breath and go, <sighs> all right, that can, and you just trace your fingers, huh. and you, five breaths, right? And if, if that doesn't calm you down, you've got another five fingers to go. But um, the problem is when we get upset, we're usually like, and we're, and we're going fast, but the key is, to, uh, your hands are on the wheel, of course, right? But your, the key is to, go to do it slowly. It doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. Right. And the, the part about touching your finger, it adds that, that other physical sensation, that, that other sense, other than just taking deep breaths, but it kind of grounds you hmm. to where you're at. Reminds you, okay, you know, I'm right here. Everything's okay. Don't worry about that guy that just cut you off. And hopefully that person's on their way to the hospital that had to cut you off right. and, and make you slam on the brakes. Hopefully that's the reason they had to do that. That's a right? good point. Well, thanks for all your help and all that you do for the kids of Western Schools. Good Thank to you. see you. Thanks. Great to be back. All right. From uh, Western Schools, Counselor Josh Smith.